Hello everyone and welcome back! I am Mamonchan and this is my Manga Corner. The series that I'm going to be reviewing today is Doubt by Yoshiki Tonogai. Okay, so the story follows a game and the game is called Rabbit Doubt. Now, in this game, it's a bunch of rabbits, and there's a wolf who has snuck in. Now, the rabbits will be killed one by one, and they have to figure out who the wolf is before he kills them all. Now, to the story. <laughs> we meet you, and he is meeting up with some friends. They all play the game together. Before he can meet up with them, he runs into one of his other friends, Mitsuki who happens to bump into him. So he is joined then by some other players, Haruka, who is a young, well, young lady, a young man named Eiji, and a girl named Rei. Well, the group of them together decide to go have some fun and sing karaoke and have a grand old time. They go, they drink, well, not alcoholic drinks, because Mitsuki won't stand for that. Not at all. Anyway, so they have fun, and Ray turns out to be a child psychic. She was on TV, and you and Mitsuki would watch her growing up. Unfortunately, it didn't end well for her as many people thought she was a fraud and her legs became paralyzed, leaving her in a wheelchair. AG doesn't believe it. He calls, you know, horseshit basically. She deserved what she got. Everyone tells him to calm down. They all wake up in an abandoned hospital. You wakes up with Mitsuki and a strange man named Hajime. 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 So Yu wakes up and he realizes he's in a strange room with Mitsuki and another man, one he hasn't seen before. He learns the man is also from the game. He is Hajime who kills Eiji often apparently. They find barcodes on each other that open doors, otherwise locked. Now each barcode can only open one door. So they open the door and they find Ray, already deceased and not whoever did it enjoyed it. She was taken out of her wheelchair and pinned against the wall and stabbed basically. Her wheelchair destroyed they quickly close the door and find Haruka and Eiji. They all meet up, the rest of them are very well alive. Now this is a locked room mystery if you haven't figured that out. I am a really big fan of these, I very much enjoy this, and shut up and read it, damn it. Okay, so. They all need to decide to work together to figure out who the wolf is and who actually brought them there. But unfortunately, as planned by the wolf, things don't go so smoothly. They start wondering, you know, are you the wolf? Are you the wolf? Suspecting one another, left and right. Uh, they tie each other up and lock each other into rooms just because they think they're in the right and the person locked or tied is in the wrong. Separated, they fall. United, they would have stood. Unfortunately, unfortunately. There are some things that, you know, pop up. Uh, they find strange files on each of them, which raises suspicions because Mitsuki was there by chance. She didn't play the game. She doesn't have it. 
so that raises suspicions with her. They find links in past with people, which raises more suspicions, but they still die off one by one. Now you has to figure out how to get out, what's going to save him, Mitsuki, his dear childhood friends, and all the other people he's met. What will get them out alive? It's a tragedy, guys, and I love the ending. Oh my god, I can't spoil it. Can't spoil it. I enjoyed it so much. So, <laughs> I read this. Oh my gosh, it was... I was recommended it on Gaia Online uh, several, several years ago. And I read it and I loved it. Oh my gosh. But I didn't have a physical copy, unfortunately. And that was that was one that stuck with me. I saw these at Barnes and Noble and I didn't I didn't have the money that I spent that day. I remember that. But I needed it. I needed it. Now, I do really enjoy the characters. They're, you know, kind of like the whole horror campy. You have the beauty, you have the muscles, you have the brains, you have the dude, and then you have Mitsuki. No, you have the kind of girl next door. And while they do kind of have those tropes, it's still really nice the way they're pulled off because you get to see them as a character with their flaws, with the good, the bad, you, you see it all. When a person is put under that much pressure, I mean, I'm sure I would even snap. I cracked it. <laughs> I have no no complaints about the art. It is great line work, beautiful shading, and there are some amazing full colors in it, especially the first few pages. Okay, um, the screen tones are great. They did such a good job with detail that I still rereading it years later. I love it. I it's one of my tops for sure. One of my personal tops for sure. Another reason I love it. While it's really sick and twisted, it is also so cute. They do it. <laughs> Which I, I love because I like cute things and I like horror. Yandere Lolita. Uh, so, the only thing, and I, if I remember correctly, this was originally four books that when came to America in English, they put into two. So it is a very thick book. Uh, the price does reflect it. It's like $18.99 US dollars. So for the two, you're paying about 40 bucks. But that is one complete series. So for me, I, I didn't have time to think. It just happened. Goodbye money. That's, it was literally, I didn't have an option. It spoke to me. <clears throat> but again, I can't recommend this more enough. If you love the horror, if you love it, oh, read this. If you enjoy Locked Room Mysteries, read this. If you haven't already, oh my goodness. it It's one that probably threw me into liking horror so much because I wasn't a fan of it before. I, mean, I watched Nightmare on Elm Street when I was five and I can't sleep in the middle of my bed. Thank you. But this, I again, I love it so much. The detail, the art, the full color, it was stunning. It, I have no, well, Again, it's a little pricey, but it is such a great series, and it was such a great read. I highly, highly recommend it. Read it. And when you do, tell me what you thought. Leave some comments down below. Subscribe for more videos, and I will see you guys in the next video.
Bye.